What's going on, Detroit Lions fans? Welcome back. Steve here, Detroit Den 313. Um, the Detroit Lions have finalized their roster. They got uh, they got their 53 men. Um, I know there was a little – Brad Holmes was leaving some breadcrumbs yesterday, and, and when the roster came out, we all noticed there's only 52 names on this list. What, what you up to, Brad? Goes out, signs Tim Patrick. I talked about that a couple days ago, so I'm not going to keep going down that road. Tim Patrick, I, I'll, I'll just say real quick. Um, I think he's going to be a good part of, of this offense. My only concern was that he hasn't played football in two seasons, but um, I'm not going to beat that up. I'm going to talk about something else. I know you guys have been uh, Twitter and YouTube has been flood with everyone talking about the Detroit lions roster and who got cut, who didn't get cut, who got moved. I'm going to, I'm going to switch it up. I think something happened yesterday that was significant it's it's a storyline not for the detroit lions it's not a roster move it's not anything um that really changes the aspect of our team just something that i thought was very interesting and maybe just another another pat on the back for brad holmes but um this all started yesterday i was out golfing which is the most frustrating game in the world if you've ever played golf you understand um i, I dedicate a lot of time and money to to golf and it just frustrates me every time but I say that because I'm golfing with one of my regular buddies who's a diehard Minnesota Vikings fan. And all the time he mentions a player by the name of Lewis Seen and how we kind of swindled the Vikings a few years ago in a trade when we moved up from uh, we had pick 32 after the Rams won the Super Bowl. We trade with the Vikings to pick 12, take Jamison Williams. The Vikings end up picking at pick 32, and they took a guy by the name of Lewis Seen from georgia now when the when, when the draft was going on lewis seen was probably ranked like the second highest safety um coming out of college behind kyle hamilton depending on what rankings you looked at some people might have had daxton hill from michigan a little higher but i say this because lewis seen got cut yesterday all right he got he got released he's, he's gone he only played seven games and only started to and had a career stat line of eight tackles, one interception and one pass defended. And I know you guys are probably thinking, what does Lewis Seen have to do with the Detroit lions? I know a lot, a lot, a lot of, and I was not podcasting at the time. I, we did not have this channel up and running then. Um, a lot of people were saying that the Detroit lions, if they would have stayed at pick 32, Lewis Seen would have been the pick. And this just goes to show that Brad Holmes navigates the draft better than any NFL executive in, in, in football. He's been named executive of the year for a reason. And it's stuff like this. Um, we died. I don't even want to say we dodged a bullet, but I, I, I've noticed that some names have been shifting around people like Malik Willis, um, Lewis seen um, a lot of people wanted Brad Holmes to draft Malik Willis with the number two overall pick that year too. He just got traded to the green Bay Packers. Um, I just think we need to let Brad Holmes just do his job. And and I know you guys are probably sitting here thinking, oh, well, Steve, every every draft year you do a mock draft. Yes. And I'm 97% wrong most of the time. Um, every now and then we get one right. And it's easy to to kind of toot your horn when you're hitting home runs and, and making the right picks. But the only picks I've really called in the last two years have been Jack Campbell and Sione Baki. So other than that, we've been pretty much wrong. There's a lot of players we like that the Detroit Lions have drafted, but we have to give Brad Holmes just some more credit because he outsmarts every single NFL executive. And I'm not saying that because I'm a Detroit Lions fan. Like He gets a lot of credit nationally about his, his draft and, and what he does. If you just look up Brad Holmes' draft picks, and I found one from Sports Illustrated that, that ranked them from 10 to 1. At number 10, they had Derek Barnes. We're talking about a guy who's an impact player. At number 1, they had Amon Rasey Brown, obviously the steal of Brad Holmes' career, fourth-round pick, USC. You guys know the story. Featured on Netflix, like Amon Rasey Brown's been everywhere. Everything in between is players that have hit. Um, we're talking uh, in no order like Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta, uh, Brian Branch. Like Those are the guys that were on this list that make impacts. When you can build your team through the draft, you're going to be unstoppable. If you're drafting pro bowlers, if you're drafting all pros, if you're drafting future Hall of Famers year in and year out, 
good luck stopping the Detroit Lions. And then, you know, Brad Holmes has, I've seen some people criticizing that, well, other than Amon or St. Brown, some of these wide receiver trades haven't panned out. Um, and we're all hoping that this signing of Tim Patrick does. You're right. But we've, we have so many weapons on this team that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if Brad Holmes has a strike every now and then on his re resume, because when he goes to the draft, he's hitting nukes out of the park. All right. Um, and I get it. This time of year, um, there's a lot going on with football. That's why I love talking Detroit Lions football. There's always something changing, whether it's the draft, free agency, uh, regular season stuff, training. Like There's always something going on with the NFL, and that's what I love it. And Brad Holmes navigates every single area of the NFL perfectly, from scouting to game day stuff, showing his emotions after uh, playoff wins, being hyped up, going on the road high five and fans in Kansas city. Like this is our GM, man. We finally have a winner here in Detroit. And I know that this is old news. I know Brad Holmes has established himself a long time ago, but I just feel like we need to take a day, have a little Brad Holmes appreciation. Um, I just saw a couple names. Like I said, Lewis seen Malik Willis just kind of got me intrigued and thinking, man, I remember a time when Detroit lions fans were talking about these guys talking about wanting these guys. Um, and, and the way he maneuvered that 2022 draft, uh, just looking at it with Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave going back to back. That's when Brad Holmes got on the phone and said, I need Jamison Williams. He's the best. In my opinion, if you, if you take away the injury that he had in the national championship against Georgia, um, I thought that Jamison Williams was the most electric wide receiver in that draft. Um, I thought he was the most um, weaponized. He, 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 I thought he was the best when Garrett, Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave went back to back. Um, Jets and Saints, I said, man, if the Lions are in the market for a wide receiver, this is the run. We're going to have to make a move. I'm sitting at home watching the game with my girlfriend or the, the draft with my girlfriend at the time, now wife. Um, she'll probably be sure to remind me of that if she's watching the show. And I'm saying if, if the Lions are making a move, it's got to be now for a wide receiver. It's got to be Jamison Williams. He won't last five more picks. Lions make a trade. I get on my <laughs> – I'm sitting there with my hands crossed praying that it's J-Mo. Here it is, guys. It's it's it became a it became a um, no longer a fantasy. We're living real world, and I think Jamison Williams is due for a huge year this year. I think he, if I had to rank someone in my top five that I think had a, a fantastic training camp and, and preseason for uh for the Detroit Lions, Jamison Williams would be in my top five. Don't know exactly where he would be, but he was just a name that I was hearing every day. His route running looks better. We know about his speed. His hands look better. Um, this is a guy who I think has finally committed himself to football. And if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know that I talked Jamison Williams quite a bit. And I, I felt like at one point it was turning into a Jamison Williams podcast. And that's not what I was trying to do. But I feel like he's just a name that's always in the news, um, whether it's negative or positive. And I'm always here defending him. That's my guy. I think this is the year. I think this is the year where we can look at this trade from 2022 and say, Brad Holmes absolutely fleeced a division rival. And I think we already say that. I think we obviously won that trade. Jameson Williams is at least on the team. Lewis seems, you know, hopefully he finds a job in the NFL. I don't wish him any ill. You know, I hope something happens. Maybe he makes a practice squad and, and he gets on somewhere possibly. Um, but as it sits today, the Detroit Lions absolutely dominated that trade. And we got an electric playmaker, a guy you can give the ball to any spot on the field, reverses, bubble screens, uh, jet sweeps, deep ball, short ball. I, I think Jamison Williams, 2024 breakout player of the year, if there's such a thing. And I can see him possibly making a Pro Bowl. Mm, actually, I, I take that back. I shouldn't even have said that. Scratch that from the record, okay? I, I don't know about Pro Bowl because as soon as I said that, I said, well, Monterey St. Brown did make the Pro Bowl last year, and he had probably one of the best seasons that a Detroit Lions receiver could have. I know it wasn't like Kelvin Johnson or anything like that, but – Amandre St. Brown got snubbed, so it's going to be really, really hard for Jameson Williams to make it. So I take that back. So, guys, just some stuff going on around the NFL that I feel like we could tie to the Detroit Lions, some names that we've heard in the past, seeing some, some guys get cut. Um, I didn't want to just keep hammering roster, roster updates, roster updates. I know you guys are probably seeing a lot of that from other YouTubers and on Twitter, so I wanted to just kind of shake it up a little bit today, talk about some guys who were tied to the Detroit Lions at, at one point and two guys who were tied from a trade, Jamison Williams and Lewis Seen. Leave it in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Stick around. Hit that subscribe button. I'll be back later with another show.